In this video, I want to show you where you can download and use this uh, small application. Well, it's not small in size, but in contents, which is uh, Meta Humans, and it's from Epic Games, from the Unreal Engine. And uh, this is not a very big uh, level, actually. You, you will just see some uh, humans that you can uh, manipulate a little bit. And to download this, you must wait a long time. So I already tell you that it's uh, 4.4 uh, gigabytes. So you have to wait a lot before you can actually use this Meta Humans application here. So just wait uh, and this will be installed in your uh, machine. So how to get here? I will explain to you how you can get to this page and how you can download MetaHumans. Of course, if you are an expert in Unreal Engine, you can figure it out. But this is for the ones that probably are just beginning to use Unreal Engine. They don't, they don't really know what it is. They're just curious or something like that. Maybe perhaps they read the news on, and about MetaHumans and they, get, they got curious and they want to see more. So basically, what we need to download this application here and Unreal Engine as well, it's the Epic Games Launcher, which is this window that you are seeing here. And well, this is a web page in the background. Now, this is an application that you have to download and install on your computer. And thanks to this application here, you will be able to download and launch freely Unreal Engine, which is the software that uh, it's used to create video games, but also like architectural visualization and uh, a lot of other stuff. I will show you a little bit. So you have to uh, download the latest version, which is the 4.26.1 at the moment. And once you do that, you will be able to use MetaHumans. So to recap, you need to download and install Epic Games Launcher, which is this um, application here. And from here, you need to download and install, first of all, Unreal Engine, and then you need MetaHumans. So where to install the Epic Games Launcher? Pretty easy. From the web, you can go here and go Epic Games Launcher. You can uh, get here and download and install. Really easy and fast from the first result. Well, this is in Italian here, but you will have it in your own language. You have to create an account. Once you create the account, you can download the launcher. And once you have the launcher, then you can access all the Epic Games products. So Unreal Engine and Twin Motion and other stuff that will be really nice to use and free until you have a commercial project. So if I if you go here, you can check all the images about Unreal Engine editor. Twin motion, it's kind of a easier and smaller version of uh, Unreal Engine, and it's pro it's mainly used for architecture, visualization, design, and like exterior design, landscape design, but also interiors as well. So you you will have to uh, spend a little bit of your time to understand better those because here we are talking about meta humans and these. It's um, you can get this from this page here. So again, when you downloaded the Epic Games Launcher and you downloaded the Unreal Engine 4.26, so you have everything installed. You can also download more than one version of Unreal Engine. Here you can download Twin, Twin Motion as well. So you click on Install, and this will start the download and the installation, free and easy, until you. Uh, have a commercial project. Now to get MetaHumans, you have to go here to the mar marketplace where there are many ways you can get it, but the, the easiest and the quickest is going to the marketplace. And okay, now it's going pretty slow because I am downloading at the moment. So I just have to wait a little bit, but in the marketplace, you will find pretty much anything uh, for free and you will find content, props, materials, a lot of stuff. You can find free stuff, you can find stuff for sale. And if you are looking for something specific, like in our case, you can go here to search and search for Meta Human 
like that. Okay. I click on the search bar. And there it is. So I, I will click here. Now, uh, it will first uh, get you to an external link, which is the, the one that I previously showed you. So if I click here to external link, it will open up this page here. There you go. And here you will click download. And that will bring you back to the Epic Games Launcher. So it's kind of a back and forth stuff. And then you will see here download and you will start your download. Now you can see it's downloading right now. So I just have to wait before I can use it. And well, this is it. This is uh, all you have to do. It's kind of a um, strange process to get here in the Epic Games, then go uh, external and then come back. It's the first time I see this in the, um, in the uh, Epic Games marketplace, but then it's it's all a matter of creating the project. You will do create project and you will define a space in your computer when you want to store all the data and the um, packages for running this application. And that's it. Then you just have to wait, just have to wait to download and install. Now, this should be an anticipation of what we will find in the following Unreal Engine editor, which will be Unreal Engine 5 and should um, be available. It could be available in this uh, 2021. So we'll just wait for Unreal Engine 5 and then we will create a video course about Unreal Engine 5. So stay tuned to our channel. And if you go here, this is our channel, JBDTube. You can check also other videos about other software and also about Unreal Engine already and V-Ray. And also, if you go in the playlist, you will find a lot of video courses in English right here on the top. The, the rest are in Italian. So just stay with these here at the top. These are all English video courses. And if you can, you can support us with the community here and a small donation or with the store. Well, of course, also, if you subscribe and you leave comments and you share, uh, it's also a good way to support us. So here we are inside the meta human sample scene. And I already uh, changed a little bit of the initial settings. I, because this is a very heavy scene to render and also the effects and all the stuff and the realistic look, of course, of the humans. So the first thing I suggest you to do is to go to uh, the view style and change this from lit to brush wireframe. So in this way, first of all, you can check the structure of the polygonal structure of the model, which is pretty interesting. And you can see that where there are more details, the polygons are um, more uh, in number. And where you have less polygon, less uh, details, sorry, for example, on the clothes, the polygons are bigger and uh, they are fewer so the when you will finish to download this um, scene you will find it in your Unreal engine launcher and uh, on your epic games launcher you will find it into library so you can go into library where you have all your projects or perhaps you don't have any projects you just have this one and there you go so it's called meta humans 4.26 so you have to double click on that to open this scene that you are seeing right now. So once you double click this, you have to be patient. You have to wait uh, for the for all the scene to be opened and be careful to open this in a 4K monitor because uh, when I did that, it crashed immediately. But don't give up. For example, try to lower the resolution of your screen or try to make the editor window a little bit smaller and just relaunch the file again and try to resize and get this a little bit smaller than the usual, you probably should fix something. Now, this depends also on your graphic card. If you have an extremely powerful graphic card, uh, GPU, you won't have any problem, I guess. But if you have some uh, lower uh, capability um, graphic card, you could have a lot of issues. So first of all, we can go around here and analyze this scene. This scene is composed by cameras and lights and animation and other stuff here, 
which uh, you can see that uh, these are kind of a lighting system to have a, a nice uh, illumination on your scene. And of course, we have these meta humans. And when you first open up the scene, you will have two meta humans. So this will be more and more heavy. I will show you the initial settings. So here on the world outliner, I will go and activate everything. And you can see here that we have this setup. So we have like this uh, girl here on the front. Then we have a panel. And then you should have this one a little bit uh, more on the side here. This is the uh, 004 meta human. So you can select them from here as well. And you can move them. And again, look at, at the hair also, the realistic movement of the hair of this character. Now, this is really nice. It's really amazing. So you don't need to use both uh, of them. You can turn off one of them. So if I turn off, for example, this uh, 001, OK, which is, I guess it's simpler than the other one. So I can turn this off and I can just work with one. So it won't get very heavy. And I can either select it from a word outliner and bring him to the front like that, or I can deactivate this plane, which will hide my character. So in this case, I want to move it. There you go. Other thing I suggest uh, to do uh, in the first place is to change here the camera speed. You probably want to have this a little bit uh, uh, slower, so you get it to one. Otherwise, it will be too fast. And sometimes you can see that the hair get lost because I think they are calculated. So you just have to wait for them to come back on. So this is the first suggestions. OK, there you go. And to, again, make it make the scene a little bit uh, lighter uh, because it's really heavy. So now I can change the position of these spheres here. OK. And now, when you finish to place objects around, you can activate the normal view. And again, this is if you are having troubles with your graphic card. If you have a very powerful graphic card, you can stay on lit. Otherwise, use lit only in the last part of, the, of your uh, settings. And you can see I can move around lights here, create like a different uh, yeah, lightning uh, setup. So you can play around with this stuff. You can check the power of uh, Real Engine. And this is uh, also a sneak view of the, what uh, the Unreal Engine 5 will be, which will be the next version of Unreal Engine that we are all waiting. And I think it should be really, really powerful. So uh, when it will come out, we will do an entire video course on Unreal Engine. So stay tuned to the, to the channel, subscribe. Also, you will find already some video courses about Unreal Engine and V-Ray in our channel. So subscribe, follow us, and thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.